Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a talky video. I haven't done one of these for ages. I think what got me thinking about this topic is watching Raya is here's video about quarter life crisis. And I just thought, do you ever get life <laughs> figured out? Maybe I'm going through a three quarter life crisis. <laughs> Anyway, I think this video is going to be a bit of a stream of consciousness. I am a bit of a journaler. I do write in a diary just about every day and that kind of gives me a picture of what's going on in my life and what my thought processes are. The light keeps going funny every time, I think it's every time my hands come up. And look at my hair, I've got to be careful not to look at the little screen, I'm using this Samsung camera. You know, I think your hair is like a blossom tree, you just think, oh this is perfect and then the next day is kind of over. So I'm aware that I do re-evaluate my priorities quite a lot, often, and especially like milestones, like a new year and uh, the end of the holidays when the kids go back to school, um, Ben goes back to school, you know, because he's a teacher. And then I watch a lot of interesting programs, watch interesting videos, read interesting articles, and that will stimulate your thought process and what you're evaluating about life and life skills that you're learning about. And also I've been in quite a lively church since I was about 14 and used to go to a kind of traditional church before that with my parents. And it's interesting actually because my parents seemed to stop going to church once I started going to church. Um, anyway, the point is uh, you tend to have like a talky bit or a sermon or whatever you like to call it at church which usually has or sometimes has kind of thought provoking interesting things in it. Also I'm recognising now that I'm a bit more of an introvert than I thought I was. I think when I was young I thought I was an introvert, I thought I was like quite shy and not really outgoing but I have recently watched a video, a TED talk, I'll link it here, about having permission to be more of an introvert because this kind of like society pressure to be like party animal and socializing but anyway even though I do feel like I'm a bit more of an introvert I think I've always recognized the importance of like social connection chatting about things down the pub chatting about things over coffee having discussions with groups of friends these have always been thought stimulating kind of life defining type things anyway right now I'm coming up to another kind of milestone because Darcy's finishing her GCSEs and I took some time out of work to support her through that. My dad should be getting his driving license back soon and then he won't be needing me so much, although I think I'll still need him because it's been awesome spending the last year with my dad, going out for walks, he's so interesting to talk to, he's so level-headed, he's such a calming influence, he's really wise, it's just been great. Anyway, having taken time out from work, I'm actually in a financial position that I can carry on doing that for a bit longer and maybe try to fulfil one of my life ambitions, which is to really get to grips with jazz piano. I don't think I'm ever going to get to the standard of some of the top jazz pianists that I know, but I can definitely do, like, and I already do, playing for myself, singing at functions and that kind of thing. But where I'd like to get to is to be able to get work, paid work in hotel bars and piano bars and that sort of thing. That would be really cool. And when I first had jazz piano lessons, I think it was about 10 years ago, the piano teacher said to me, oh, you ought to aim for doing what Leanne Carroll does. I'll link her stuff here. She is amazing. That would be really fun, but I think I'd have to have a sense of humour transplant. Well, not sense of humour, but the ability to be humorous. I just kind of don't really know how to do that. I went on a stand-up comedy course once, but they didn't really think I was funny. So if you've got any tips, please leave them in the comments below. Yep, so I'm still figuring life out. Do I start a regime to master the piano? There's other things like... Um, we're going on holiday in the summer and it'll be a beach holiday and I feel under pressure to be bikini ready. Can you be bikini ready at my age? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm past that point. So is it worth having a regime to try and lose a few pounds to look okay on the beach? 
should I bother? Those kinds of things. Because like a year and a half ago, I did a New Year's video with all these kind of ideas of how you can set up regimes to achieve what you want to achieve. And then a couple of months later, I uploaded a video called Crash and Burn, because that's what happened. So it's as if the first reaction I have when I come up to a milestone is to set out some kind of plan and regime and it's like a setup for failure. I watched a really good video by Brian Johnson, I'll put a link here. He does videos called Philosopher's Notes where he basically makes a video about somebody else's book and he was making one about toughness training and it wasn't just you know physical training it's like um, building emotional toughness, mental toughness. So whatever it is that you're trying to grow, area you're trying to grow in or develop, he was talking about having a kind of a wave um, approach to it so that you kind of pitch it just a little bit above kind of your maintenance level to kind of stretch yourself. But then it's really important to build in breaks and recovery periods and that sort of thing. So yeah, basically you've got to pace yourself. And then figuring out your priorities and responsibilities, that gets really blurred when you have a family. You have to rethink your responsibilities all the time as your kids get older and your parents get older. And then there's going to be a stage at some point where I'm gonna think about the responsibilities of being a grandparent. And the first one, of course, is what should I be called? I don't think granny suits me. I'm leaning a bit more towards grandma. Mommy's mommy is a bit of a mouthful, but don't get too excited guys because that isn't in the offing at the moment. I think the main thing for me at the moment in terms of responsibilities is making sure I don't feel responsible for things that are not really my thing. So whenever I'm planning anything now, I pause and I think, do I really want to do this? Is this contributing to anything that I'm building towards? I think I really got burnt out before because I was trying to make the Brazilian work work. You know, we'd given up a year of our lives. We had put a lot of our own finances into it. We had jeopardized Darcy's education. Initially, when we got back, I think I would have been happy to leave it as it was and to have just done that year. But I noticed that Ben was very concerned about the work and the ongoing work. So. This is where I made my first mistake and I went into rescue mode. I basically got involved in something that wasn't really my thing. Sure, I invested a lot in it when we were in Brazil, but an education project in Brazil was not really one of my own personal goals. I think the final trip I went on in 2013 in November, I realised that it was going to take an enormous amount of my input and my effort to make the thing work and at, that was the point where I thought, yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue with this. Because it would have meant I couldn't put time into doing other things that I wanted to do like jazz, etc. Well, just jazz really. And then when we came back, Ben started making his cooking videos, his Mr Cole Cooks videos. In fact, he made the first one on the day that we got back. I think it was because Louis and Alfie picked us up from the airport and then we got home and we needed to cook something. And people had been putting in the comments of Louis's videos every time Ben appeared in them, because usually he was cooking. Oh, you must start a cooking channel. So it was kind of in his mind. And I think he thought, right, this is the opportunity. And that first video, Steve Booker, videoed it, he filmed it, but who did the next one? Well, the next nine, and also most of the editing, and I think that was at the point where I got really burnt out. And why did I do that? It wasn't really my thing. Yeah, so I'm still figuring it all out. Do I put a regime together? Do I put a plan in progress? Or should I just go with the flow and get into the habit of making decisions based on, do I wanna do that? Is this really my responsibility? Am I just trying to keep someone else happy? Am I just trying to rescue someone else? Do they even want to be rescued? <laughs> Do we ever get life figured out? So, yeah, a stream of consciousness. Sorry about that. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.